A Ubisoft employee already said that Assassin's Creed Red is going to be the biggest blockbuster of 2024, confirming the 2024 release window. And now Ubisoft announced their yearly Ubisoft Fort event on Monday, June 10th which will very likely include gameplay for Assassin's Creed codename Red. But high chance we already hear the real name and see a cinematic trailer before the June 10 date. Like this how Ubisoft has been revealing all their big Assassin's Creed projects these last few years. For Mirage, we first only saw the cinematic trailer with some in-game screenshots and I was lucky enough to interview the developers as well like many other media to learn way more about the game. And this was also the approach for Dawn of Ragnarok, the DLC for Valhalla. It also First had the cinematic trailer, we got some screenshots and we could do some interviews and then I could share that all with you. And this tactic all started with Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I still remember every moment of that cinematic trailer and the few screenshots we got. Like this was the most successful Ubisoft reveal ever with 100 million views in 10 days. So high chance Ubisoft wants to do a similar tactic for Red. So that would mean that before this June 10 date we will already see the cinematic trailer, screenshots, do some interviews for Valhalla this was at the end of April so we're almost there in the next few weeks or maybe early May mid May we will finally see this game I'm curious if they will do like another countdown stream that revealed the setting not really like need it because we already know the feudal Japan setting but it did help build excitement. Whatever happens, I'll of course be streaming it, keeping you posted no matter what, so subscribe to stay up to date on that and leave a like if you are hyped for AC Red. And it feels like we kinda know more about this game going into this reveal than normal, and this is mostly thanks to Tom Henderson at Insider Gaming, who has a great track record, and now revealed that there will be a major evolution to the Valhalla settlement feature in AC Red. Players will be able to build their settlements in a big way, named the Hideout. The hideout is where the player will be able to build at their own will the likes of an armory, dojo, altar and more. I would have been okay with moving away from the Valhalla settlement system because I was not a huge fan of how it was implemented in Valhalla because you were always forced to go back to this location if you wanted to upgrade your weapons or even use the transmog that was added later on. It also did not really help the story that became pretty predictable as you would always start the story arc in your longhouse and end there as well. So I overall hope that Assassin's Creed Red takes a different approach and makes it more of an optional like base location that we can choose to invest in but don't have to. So the armory is noted here like we saw that in Valhalla as well so this might mean that we get a loadout feature at launch so you can quickly change between your armor and weapons depending on your playstyle and then see that gear displayed inside the settlement building. But again Red seems to take this settlement feature to the next level so maybe I would like it more like it's noted that the buildings are now customizable from being able to pick the building's location to being able to choose your roof design to the interior layout and we should also be able to display our weapons and armor like in Valhalla we of course had a set location for each building and apart from upgrading it we could not change the look of the building at all so your settlement and my settlement would eventually look identical only the decoration for the tree I of course had the watchtower so you could also look over the settlement which was kind of cool and you could of course also put different statues and other decoration like in set locations which could make it look slightly different but the impact was of course minimal. So now being able to select the location of a building and change the roof and interior layout might give us more freedom and might also make the settlement feature in red a way more fun. And I always kind of like games that let us display weapons like Borderlands had this or Starfield more recently but I don't expect these new settlement features to be on the same level as say the Starfield ship or base builder. I think it will be kind of in the middle so then on one side you have the Valhalla settlement where we could not really do a lot Lot. And then on the other side you have the base building mechanics from a survival game like Enshrouded. Like you could really make some awesome things in that game. Again I think Red will be kind of in the middle of it. And it will probably be a way for Ubisoft to introduce new microtransactions. Like exclusive roofs or golden weapon stands. 
Mark my words. And while Mirage was still on PS4 and Xbox One, Red will of course be the first PS5, Xbox Series and PC only title and this will mean many graphical improvements. Like it should benefit visually from the lines of ray traced global illumination and a virtual geometry. In short, it will create more lively looking environments. There was a reshade mod for Odyssey that kind of gives an idea of what the world can look like with the more photorealistic ray tracing. Like that is what makes the red reveal overall more exciting. Going from Origins to Odyssey and Odyssey to Valhalla, we saw a lot of similar elements. While playing Odyssey at E3 2018, Barnabas had an Anubis weapon that they later on changed. Going from Valhalla to Red should be a bigger jump and not only in terms of graphics but Tom Henderson also talks about the fact that they're moving to an upgraded version of their engine called Anvil Pipeline. And this means that they had to completely overhaul everything in the series including animations, its parkour system, dynamic weather and more. Dynamic weather is of course nothing new but hopefully it has more of an impact on the world this time where the terrain can get muddy when it rains for example. Now Valhalla had these meteors appear, maybe you remember that, where out of nowhere it would like crash down and then you could get some loot from it if you would check it out. Maybe there are random elements like this in red as well. But the parkour system being mentioned here is of course big. Like Assassin's Creed Origins pushed the series forward in a lot of ways in terms of scale with the map being much larger. The hitbox based combat is way better than what we had before and the post launch was way more exciting with more frequent updates. But the parkour was of course a huge downgrade over the older titles. Mirage made of course some nice tweaks and finally made the city around movement again but with them having to completely overhaul the parkour for Red, you hope it's as fluid and exciting as Unity. Leak suggests that we get a grapple hook again that should function similar to Syndicate, which I loved by the way, to quickly climb buildings. Rise of the Ronin of course more recently had one as well. Something that will already spice of the traversal quite a lot. Insider Gaming also notes that the combat of Red is somewhat similar to Valhalla, but featuring a lot more gore, including blood and decapitations. Which I find interesting because Valhalla already had a lot of brutal finishers and heads would fly around with certain abilities. You probably know what I mean, right? If I show it here, YouTube might not like it. So I hope that Red also has features to tone that down. And as we discussed before, Stealth should also see some much needed improvements where we can extinguish torches, hide in tall grass and bushes and even go prone whenever we would like. Tools should also be back, like I really can't wait to see this game in action on June 10th with probably a similar gameplay demonstration of like 7-8 minutes that we also had for Mirage last year during Ubisoft Ford. But first, probably that cinematic trailer, a few screenshots and some interviews a few weeks before June 10th. When we learn more, I will of course be the first to tell you here, so subscribe if you haven't already to not miss anything. A like would really help me out and check out my previous Assassin's Creed video on the Infinity Hub and what that means for Assassin's Creed Red by clicking on the screen. I will speak to you very soon. Goodbye.